Hallelujah. As the worship team prepares, folks are still filing in. That's awesome. That's awesome. We want to welcome everyone here this morning to Harvest Chapel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Glory to God. It's a wonderful Fourth of July weekend. Praise the Lord for coming out. Would you stand with me this morning? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. I just love when family, it's busy. It's busy, the busyness, huh? I love it. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. The teens are coming back from creation. They had a marvelous time. Oh, my goodness. There's a team in Honduras. Please keep them in your prayers right now. Would you do that? Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord, for another amazing time. God, we get together just to spend in your presence. Father, you're anointing your love, God. I thank you, Father. Father, for the heaviness, God, of your love, your peace, law that surpasses all understanding. Thank you, Father, for another opportunity to join with my fellow believers, Lord God, just to grab the hand of our Savior and to worship you. Father, we praise you this day. We bless you in Jesus' name. And the house said, amen. Worship with us this morning.
Deep 
listen for a second. Jesus. Jesus. I just heard the Spirit of the Lord say some things to me during worship, and it's really strong, man. The Lord spoke this through me earlier, but I need to release this right now. I heard the Spirit of the Lord say, when we are willing to take a risk in giving Him our all, we can truly see God at His best as He wants to show us His all. God says, as you give, take a risk, because how many of you know that God's will will always be a risk to your flesh, but God's will is what your spirit craves. And I just hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, when you take a risk, like you step out of your comfort zone, you step out of what's normal, God says, I'm gonna reveal to you my best. I'm gonna show you all of my best. And I just feel like the Lord says, as you cry out, God, I want more of you. God is saying, man, I'm not gonna relent until I have all of you. So I believe there's some people here today that, man, you might be holding on to things because it's too risky to let it go, but I promise you in the hands of the master, it's gonna be a masterpiece. And I just hear the Spirit of the Lord saying that as you take a risk and you step out, as you take a risk, you're going to see God at His best. So whatever's holding you, whatever's holding you back from giving God your all, maybe it's fear, maybe it's intimidation, maybe it's uncertainty. The enemy would love for you to be in a place of insecurity where God wants you to be secure. And it's secure in the Master's hands. And I just hear the Spirit of the Lord saying that today is a day He is going to show off His favor like never before. And I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying prophetically right now that He is releasing a favor that is going to be so recognizable that when people have a relationship with you, they're going to fall in a place of repentance because they'll see the goodness of God that's so recognizable in your life because you're willing not to serve yourself and do yourself a favor, but you humble yourself before God and you give Him your all and God shows you His best and that shines through and a world will be transformed by what they see, not just what they hear. God says today is the day for people to see and recognize the favor that has always been on your life. And the Spirit of the Lord says, I'm asking you to tell your flesh to shut up. It might be a risk to give God your all in a particular area, but the Lord says, I won't relent until I have it. And I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying that we do ourselves favor out of selfishness, but out of humility when we give it to God, God gives favor that we can't give ourselves. And I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, and just give it all, give it all. I'm releasing a favor that's going to be so recognizable and so favorable that people are going to look and be like, wow, I need that. God says, you're going to, when you give me your all and you take the risk in giving me your all, I'm going to show you my all. Jesus says, if you desire to come after me, you must first deny yourself. What's that mean? Your desire for, for God should be greater than what you're holding on to that's holding you back from God. Come on, somebody. The Spirit of the Lord says that my, your desire for me, I'm not here to preach, but your desire for God should be far greater than what you once desired. And I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, as you step into a new season, what you embraced in your old season, you may have to deny in the new season. And I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, you may have to deny what you accepted before, but the Spirit of the Lord says that you should desire me and where I'm taking you far above what is trying to hold you back. And the Spirit of the Lord says, take a risk. Can I tell you something? If you see your master, watch. If God didn't want to do it again, he would never show us it through his son. But the reason he showed it to, his, to us through his son was that he wants it to happen again and again. And that's why Jesus says, what you see me do, you can do and do even greater. So when you deny what is trying to deny you of Christ and you desire Christ more, he will take you to places where you become what you want to see. Too many people complain about the absence of what they 
they don't see. When God says, I want you to give me you so that I can see it in you and you can become the evidence of what you've been complaining about that you haven't seen. And the Spirit of the Lord says, I am calling my church. Because God says, what you're complaining about that you don't see in others might just be your next assignment because God wants to see it in you. And then you can look in the mirror and actually see it because it's in you first because you denied what was trying to hold you back and you desired and went after him. God won't relent until he has it all because he has so much to show you. And the more you give him, the more he shows you. Can I tell you something? God's not being stingy when he says, I won't relent until I have it all. No, he's saying, I desire to show you more. So give me it all so I can show you all. So God, I pray right now you break what needs to be broken. God, I pray we deny what's holding us back from Christ. And God, I pray for a desire to rise in the body of Christ, a desire to rise in the body of Christ, where they'd rather pursue you than out of selfishness do themselves a favor, because God, your favor is far greater. So Lord, we deny ourselves selfishness, and we accept through humility what you're calling us to do in our marriages, in our finances, God. What we might be saying we wish so and so would do, may we rise up and do and become so that we can be an example of that in the lives that we live, God. And Father, I pray that we do what it takes to see your favor released in our finances, our relationships, our marriages. God, sometimes the, the challenge isn't changing someone else, the challenge is us changing. And instead of praying for others to change, may we change and be the change we want to see. Because God, we've given you the all. In Jesus' name. Can we sing that one more time? You won't relent until you have it all.
Come on, come on. Jesus, surrender to the Lord this morning. Yes. Come on. I surrender. Holy Spirit, come. I surrender this morning. for somebody. Pastor Ryan spoke this morning. Listen, I believe there's a selling out in the house. Somebody, listen, my mind, you know where my spirit went this morning? All over the country there's people celebrating the 4th of July. They're celebrating, they're reenacting the battles. They're reenacting the past. They're reenacting their battles. Get this instead of celebrating the freedom. We need to celebrate the freedom that Holy Spirit has put upon you. Celebrate the freedom that you have in Christ this day. Instead of reenacting the battles. Oh my goodness. That will set you free. You, we sang a moment ago, Holy Spirit come. Come on now. Do you, do you realize what you're asking? Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, stay. Do we realize what we're asking? The third person of the Godhead to come and stay. That's powerful. That's powerful. Don't just brush it off as a song. That's an invitation for God. That's an invitation. Come on. That's not an invitation for your neighbor. It's not an invitation for grandma to bring cookies. It's an invitation for God. Shabbatai. Somebody listen. Somebody listen. Stop celebrating your battles. Stop reenacting your battles all the time. And start celebrating your freedom. Start celebrating your freedom. Start, come on, somebody. Start celebrating your freedom. If you're tired of living the way you live, celebrate your freedom. It may not look like it in Lodabar, but there's an answer. Come on, preacher. You need to preach soon. Hallelujah to the Lord. Shambarobosi. Holy Spirit, come. Watch it. You invite God in. Something that's ugly has got to go. You invite God in. Something that's unholy you've been hanging on to. That's got to go. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, stay. Shakobasai. reenacting our battles know that there's a liberty right now for you give the Lord a praise this morning give the Lord a praise hallelujah oh my goodness see I, I can't go on pastor I gotta quit gee uh, you may be seated in the house if you would